Yeah, this is the aftermath of the car. Uh, is this? We've made it to Spalding Car Boot. And here we are, we are walking in. Let's see what bargains we can find today. What would you do on the three cameras, the three kid ones? Three cameras are tenner. Tenner? Yeah, I'll take both. All three, please. What have you got here, Inky and Monopoly? Uh, Monopoly, I've got four pound on it. And so, a fiver for the ink. Look at this, You're looking please. at 18 quid normally for yeah. one of these. Banker's lamp, mate. I was on the banker's lamp. Yeah. I'll take that. Yeah. Bound. Happy days. CP for an hour of DVD. Two black and tricolour. Three quid. Still camera as well. Happy days. Any DSs, mate? Peach, yeah. Well, these are a bit windy today, but I think we've done pretty well so far. Yeah, I don't think these are anything whatsoever. That's unfortunate. Do I do it? You want 60 quid? I can't knock them down anymore. Oh, what would you do? Let me know in the comment section below. Would you buy a pack test at 60 quid? Could this be an expensive mistake? £55 bargain. Thank you very much, Ross. Thank you. Have a good day. Is this, is that your prices on here? Excuse me? Is that your prices there? Sorry. Oh, sorry. That, that's right, is that your price? Yes. yes. £50 a nice price. <laughs> yeah. Extra wide. <laughs> Get a nice, uh, what, 30 quid for them quite easily. Extra wide, Clark's happy days. We have it, car boot completed and about three IKEA bags full. Yeah, not bad at all. Right, yo, what we're going to do now is going to get home. We're going to go through absolutely everything that we bought from this morning's car boot. Well, this afternoon, actually, because it's a midday car boot, which is absolutely bonkers uh we're gonna go through everything and I'll tell you exactly how much we are looking to get back on ebay and amazon i think we spent probably no more than a hundred pound but i'll give you a definitive answer to that in a second so i'll see you guys when we get home yeah this is the aftermath of the car boot as you can see we've got a fair few bags full of stock so what I've got to do now is empty them bags, put them on the table, and we're going to go through absolutely everything that we picked up from the car boot. So let's see what we have found. I think we spent a whopping £120, and £55 of that is one singular item. Let's take a deep dive look into bag number one. We have spent a whopping £120 on everything that you're going to see in the next few minutes. So without further ado, let's see what we picked up from this midday car boot. Right, the first item that I'm gonna show you are these brand new Ortholite Trek Carrymore Charcoal Mid UK size 10 walking boots, paid seven. Should be looking at anywhere between 40 to 50 pound. For the sake of this video, we're gonna go with 40 pound. Next item is this Sony, sort of like camera, it's really good. It's a Cybershot camera, W800, had an RRP of 88 pound. And to be honest, looking at eBay, it does look like we could squeeze a good chunk of change out of this. It comes with manuals, it comes with cables, it comes with case, it comes with the camera itself. Paid a whopping 10 pound and should be able to get about 60 to 70 pound. I think for the sake of this video, we are gonna go with the, the lower valuation. So we're gonna put a nice conservative 60 pound on this. We then picked up this. This was, I think, a pound, but it's got a, another tiny, tiny, tiny set inside it, which looks something like this. And this is worth five pound on its own. And then we should be able to get at least 10 pound for the other bits. These are actually part of the board game called Pirate Plank, and it all is complete. Should be able to get 15 pound uh, for everything that you see here. So one pound into 15 pound, hey, it's better than a kick in the teeth. Now, this is pretty cool. This is 1989 Wallace and Gromit. It's all nice little bag pack it's actually in really good condition for its age we've actually got this listed already for a whopping 35 pounds so happy with that 1989 we always do pretty well with wallace and gromit stuff but like i said we're always picking it up for a quid it's an absolute no brainer it's a nice sort of small to medium a sort of large bag look at that that's that's beautiful uh it has got a tiny bit of level of detailing as well so yeah Nice, easy, £35. We then have a very nice bread and butter item for ourselves at the moment. These is a, a brand called Calf Kidston. I'm sure you're all aware of that brand. Really nice bread and butter. Again, only a pound. 
So should help money is definitely safe with that. Should look anywhere between 15 and 20 pound. I think we're gonna stick with the lower end again. So we'll put 15 pound to the running total. But really nice sort of brown, light brown polka dot sort of style calf kitten bag. My favorite item to sell on eBay has to be ink, sealed ink. And to be honest, I have never ever found a bit of ink that's actually in date. The fact that this runs out April next year is redonkadonk. Uh, listed this already for £35. We're going to add £35 to the title. Always be on the lookout for sealed ink, especially if it's HP or Epson, because they absolutely fly. This shouldn't last no longer the 90 days. Another brand to be on the lookout for is Arrow DVDs or Arrow Blu-rays or Arrow videos. Um, this, believe it or not, is worth a little bit of money. Paid 50p, it's brand new and sealed. Got this listed already on eBay for £15. And to be honest, I have absolutely no idea what it is. It is Zombie Flesh Eaters. It doesn't look particularly great if I'm being brutally honest, but because it's Arrow, it's worth a little bit of money. So definitely be on the lookout for Arrow video, especially if it's Blu-ray. Look at these, these are beautiful. We have a pair of Sketcher Bobs. Bob is the sub model of Sketchers. You can just see that just inside there. Got these listed for 27 pound and 99 pennies. But for easy maths, we're just gonna add 25 pound to the total. Really nice condition, plenty of life left. It's got this really nice, like soft leather feel to them. And they are in really good condition and a really nice selling size. Try and sell that, <laughs> try and say that <laughs> is, is quite difficult. But um, yeah, should be able to get at least 25 pound for them all day long. Sticking with the absolute beautiful pieces, look at these. These are a pair of soft leather Russell and Bromley boots. We've currently got these listed up for 30 pound. Again, lots and lots and lots of life left. Nice soft leather, decent women's size. It is a size 36 euro, so really nice size. Should be able to really easily get that £30, if I'm being brutally honest. Really nice soft left leather. Unfortunately, we're obviously coming into sort of the spring summer. I can't see too many people wearing these in the spring summertime, but hey, always get it listed. Russell and Bromley will sell itself. A beautiful, beautiful brand. We all know this brand. I go on about this brand all the time, and it's everywhere in your high street. It's in fact a pair of Clarks. And the reason why I picked these up is because they are a phenomenal size, probably the best size of shoes, trainers, boots, or any football things, anything, any size ever. Size nine, extra wide, Clarks in excellent condition. They have literally probably be worn once. Look at them, absolutely stunning. Got these listed for 30 pounds. So yeah, happy indeed. Now this, is the punt of the year. In fact, this is probably the punt of the year. We have never, ever, ever, ever bought anything like this before. So, what is it you're asking? It's a couple of cables and and, and, and a book and um, instructions. That's not, that's literally what it is. It's just a book. Uh, it's in fact a pat tester. Never, ever, ever, ever sold a pat tester in my life. Um, don't know what to really look out for. Uh, but it looks pretty new. It's still got the protective seal on the screen. Um, it cost £55. So that's where the majority of our money went today. It was on one singular item. However, with that all being said, we have had a look on eBay. And they are selling for like £250 to £300. Like I said, we we're going to stick with the low evaluation just to be conservative. But this is a Parker Bell PB500. Uh, just need to test it. Just need to see if it all works. And um, it's all about learning in this industry, isn't it? You pay for your education, and that's exactly why I do what I do. Don't mind taking a pun if my money is safe. Even in spares and repairs, £55 should be achievable. Uh, but, yeah, well, I'm hope, obviously hoping it's going to work to get that £250 plus mark. But when buying electronics on the car boots or the charity shops or Facebook Marketplace, wherever you are buying electronics, 
try and get it for the spares and repairs value because at the end of the day if it doesn't work you're not going to lose any money the next item is this wonderful beautiful banker's lamp i've had this already tested and it works believe it or not it works it's working absolutely fine beautiful beautiful finish it's not one of them retro ones it's, it's been reproduced uh you can tell that by it's not proper brass or anything like that but it still aesthetically looks like one of them so we should still be able to get nice money paid a fiver should be able to get 35 pound a little bit of amazon monopoly Fortnite on the way back we've got a, we've got a cheeky cheeky deal uh should be able to get 20 pound 22 but for the sake of this video we're gonna go 20 pound uh and we paid four so yeah not bad indeed talking about amazon if you don't know already i do own a discord amazon group next level resale and if you do want to join that group all the links will be in the description below um, if you want to start learning Amazon or if you want to know if Amazon's for you and if Next Level resells for you, then please do have a look in the description where there are all the links to all the, the good stuff is there. But with that all being said, let's crack on with the remaining of the video. One, two and three Kiddy Zoom VTech duos. Some could say I have been inspired by the wonderful master of pieces. I've seen Mop pick these up before. I hope these are these. Um, if he's watching, please let me know in the comment section below. Ian, um, I think I, you've definitely picked some of these up. Picked up three of them for a tenner, um, which I was quite surprised when I had a look at eBay. They are selling reasonably well with a really good sell-through rate at about £20 each. So 10 into 60, and one of them does actually work. The lady did show me it working. There you go, look, happy day. So increasing that buyer confidence. So I will, you know, one works, so I thought I'd buy all three. Why not? And look at that, a little bit of inception going on here. Um, works, tested, happy with that one. So I know that one works. Now just need to test these two, but again, I'm pretty sure they will. Uh, the buy the seller was very very nice and uh, let me know that they do actually work so for the sake of this video we're going to add 60 pound to the total so again you know i said paying for our education well i have bought bowls in the past and i've just lobbed them in the spalding unit and never returned to them however i don't know today was the day where we decided to buy some more I know bowls can do pretty, pretty well. So we've got a total of four here, and I believe we picked up another four or six in another carry case. Um, they are Hemsalite. Uh, they are Super Grip, size three. I don't know what that symbol is. Obviously, no, it's a grain of wheat, because obviously I worked in farming. So I know it's a wheat. Uh, it'd be pretty embarrassing if it isn't wheat. I mean... There's an argument it could be barley, to be honest, but let's not go down that route. Hems are like, again, I'm not too sure how much these are worth, but I do know hems are like bowls go for a decent amount of money. I know Drake's Pride are the, probably the ones to be on the lookout for, but there's four here. They're all size three, super grip. They're in decent condition, just need a slight polish. Um, so, uh, yeah, I think for the sake of this video... The fact that they come with the carry cases as well. I'm just going to put a very, very, very modest £40 on the four um, and see what happens. I think that's achievable from what I know. But like I said, I don't know everything. Um, and that is the beauty of going through eBay sold, right? I can just type in all this information onto eBay and hopefully get, a, uh, get some sort of answers. But if you guys know anything to do with this barley, wheat, hybrid, hemsalite, shenanigans please let me know in the comment section below the penultimate item is a bag of welcome welcome balls balls let's have a look at these ones uh no they're just hems like five standard again so we've got four of these but i have done some research on the bag itself and this bag believe it or not is 25 quid so we're gonna add 25 pound to the total and then again, we're going to add another £40 because there is four Hemsalite standard uh, bowls. So that's, again, another £40. So that isn't too bad, I don't think. Again, it's all about paying for your education in, in this industry. And I don't mind doing that if the price is right. And the last item 
is in fact a very nice Canon Sure Shot AF7 camera with a camera case. So nothing too exciting to finish the video. However, 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 I always pick up good branded cameras. They just seem to absolutely fly. And people do ask me time and time again, how do I test cameras and how do I sell them? Very, very simple. I will functionality test them, which means that I will test the flash, the power, make sure it loads uh, a film, but I will not go as far as getting film produced because that can take a long, long time. So I literally sell it as functional tested. The potential buyers are aware of that because I put it in the title and the description and I just literally test the basic functions. And that I should still be able to get at least 20 to 25 pound for this camera with a case. So again, for the sake of this video, we're gonna put a nice modest 20 pound just to be safe. But yeah, always look out for sort of Canon, Sure Shot cameras, all that good stuff, Sony, Olympus Muse, uh, the, the list is endless. So yeah, that was the end of the car boot. And there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. So thank you all so much for watching. Let me know in the comment section below what has been your favorite car boot pickup ever in time. Uh, for this car boot in particular, my favorite was probably the Wallace and Gromit bag, but I'm also looking forward to testing the Kiddy Zoom cameras and the, um, I quite like, not gonna lie, the pack tester, just so that I know and enhance my learning. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you beautiful lot in the next one. Make sure you do smash that like before you go and I'll see you very, very shortly. Bish, bash, Bosh.